Collage animation is a powerful way to bring characters to life. With just the right assets and some basic animation skills, you can create almost any facial expression in After Effects. But today, I'm taking it a step further. I'll show you advanced tricks to level up your animations instantly. And if you are a channel member, you get access to the full process, creating assets, prepping them, and animating from start to finish. Now, let's jump in. Start with opening the PSD files in After Effects. Now choose the color and drag the composition to the timeline. And now we need to adjust the position of this composition layer. We need to put it to the right place. Now press P on your keyboard and put a keyframe for position properties. Then move it further because it will be its last position. Now bring the timeline indicator back to the beginning and adjust the position of the hand. You'll see we have two keyframes now. Play around with these keyframes to adjust the timing. Now copy the second keyframe and paste it further in the timeline. Then create another keyframe to create overshoot animation. Now to end the animation, copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end. Let's go to the graph editor. For first two keyframes, we need faster start and smoother ending. I think it's done, so let's move to the clicking animation. Open the PSD file as a composition in After Effects and select the hand layer. Now select the puppet tool and try to put points on the joints of a finger. This step is crucial. By doing this, we're making sure that our animation will not be crooked. Now from layer settings, open the mesh and try to find the keyframes. Because whenever you click for points with Puppet Tool, it creates a keyframe. Now select all of them and copy. Now paste them a few frames further. Bring the timeline indicator to the middle of an action. And adjust the points as the finger clicks to the mouse. You'll see here that keyframes are created, so select all of them and ease them by pressing F9. Now let's check how it looks. Select the last three keyframes, press and hold Alt, and now drag the keyframes to adjust the timing. Now let's move on to the second scene. We need to bring the laptop to the action. Now put two keyframes for the position properties. Adjust the position to the left side for the first keyframe. Copy this keyframe and paste it further. Now adjust this keyframe slightly to the right side to create an overshoot animation. Now press Shift and R for the rotation properties. Put two keyframes and add overshoot animation as well. Now select all keyframes and press F9 for easing them. Now let's move on to the face animation part. Drag the composition to the timeline and place it after the second scene ends. Move the timeline indicator a few frames further and press Ctrl, Shift and D to cut the layer. Now parent this layer to the laptop layer. Now press T for opacity properties and put two keyframes from 0 to 100. Now cut the laptop layer as well and create a null object. Then parent the cutted layers to the null object. Now press S for scale properties and put two keyframes. Let's bring our face to the center. To bring it fully to the center, use also position keyframes. Now let's make this laptop to disappear. Now go back to the null object and select the all keyframes. Ease them by pressing F9 and go to the graph editor. Adjust the curve similar to this one. Basically everything is set from here, you just need to adjust the timing for better result.
Now I think we can move forward. Now let's create an eye tracking effect. Adjust the size and put the element to the right side. Now put the position keyframe. Make this keyframe last one. And for the first keyframe, make the element disappear. Then ease the keyframes and match the timing of a null object keyframes. Now cut the layer and let's adjust its position. Put first keyframe and move it down in the second keyframe. Now move the element to the left side and finally ease the keyframes. Let's adjust the motion curves as well. I think it's ready so we can move to the eye part. In this composition we have four layers. I separated the eyeballs in the Photoshop. Now we need to create an effect to make them move realistically. Select the pen tool and try to draw a shape on the eye. When you're done, choose the matte options to this layer. Now apply the same steps for the second one. Now we have a full control of realistic move. Next, simply put position keyframes and start moving the eyes according to the element we created. Now ease the all keyframes and adjust the graph editor. Adjust the timing and let's see how it looks. Create another position, keyframe. Now bring it to the center as it will click to the mouth. Now let's add our second element, scale it down to match the size and press S for scale properties. Create a second keyframe and adjust the value to 4. Now copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end. Ease the keyframes and we have a clicking effect. Also, don't forget to adjust the eyeballs as they are looking for that click. Now double click to the composition layer and make the open mouth layer visible. The last step is making the element to disappear from our scene. Create position keyframes as we did it before and make it happen. Now we need to bring back our first element again, so duplicate the layer and bring him up. Now delete the keyframes and place it accordingly in the timeline. Copy the position keyframes and simply paste it to our layer. Now adjust the timing, now it will realistically go away from the screen. Let's cut the mask layer. Press P for position properties, hold ALT and click the stopwatch icon and then add an expression wiggle. Now for the next part let's add the X logo. To create these effects we don't need advanced tricks, we will just add scale and position keyframes. After easing the keyframes and adjusting the motion curves, just duplicate the layers, offset them and pre-compose. Now let's create this crazy eye effect. Double click to the mask composition layer, cut the eyeball layers, press R for rotation properties, put 4 keyframes adjusting the curves in a circular move. Now ease the keyframes and add expression loop out. Now let's adjust the paper animation. 
position scale and rotation keyframes can help here. We will just add four keyframes, adjust them, select toggle hold keyframe and add loop out expression to each of them. At the end adjust their timing and let's see how it looks. In the last chapter of this video we will create extra details. So select the pen tool and start drawing a shape. I'll choose the yellow color for this case. Now from the layer properties, search for a path and put a keyframe. Then simply track down the motion with putting path keyframes and adjusting the shape. Next, I have created this star shape and you can add here simple rotation keyframes. Now let's draw a stroke for the head. And we can proudly say that our animation is ready. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching until the end. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you want exclusive content, consider becoming a member. I'll see you in the next one.